Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today I have a favourites video for you guys, just with some body, skincare, makeup and maybe some fashion favourites. I might include some of those at the end. So yeah, these are just my current favourites, what I've really been enjoying using and let's get into it. The first products are... The Wella Colour Brilliance Shampoo and Conditioner. They've got slightly different packaging for some reason, but this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner. And I ordered these off Amazon for £20 altogether. I had to buy the um, pump separately, so they just come off like this. But they're reusable with like the next bottles that I buy, which is kind of annoying, but I think these are meant for salons, so... I guess that's why it's like that. <laughs> my hairdresser April, who helped me achieve my honey blonde kind of colour, told me that I should really be ditching the high street shampoos. And I used to just use whatever was on offer and it was working for me, uh, but that was before I had treatment on my hair. And my hair was sort of virgin hair in a sense, so I guess I could use anything and didn't really make a difference. But now I have colour treated hair. She told me I should invest in something with better ingredients, less silicones, less sulfates, chemicals like that. And she recommended these and I've really, really, really been enjoying them. They've lasted me so long. I looked back at when I ordered them and I'd ordered them in the very, very beginning of July and they're still super heavy. I don't wash my hair off that often, so obviously that will depend on how fast you go through these. But I know for a fact that my boyfriend, Callum, uses these every day, <laughs> which is kind of annoying, but um, that just shows a little goes a long way. Yeah, and I've really been enjoying those. It's sort of has that very salon smell, the conditioner is really lovely and luxurious. I definitely would repurchase them. Skincare wise, this is a classic. Again, if you've watched my old, old videos, you will recognize this. It is Serra Zinc by La Roche-Posay. And this is a toner in a sense. It's in a spray can um, and it contains zinc sulfate, which is really good for acne prone skin. How I use this is when I have um, breakouts or any spots, just like little white heads and I just feel congested. What I'll do is do my normal skincare re routine and then douse myself in this. It's got a really fine mist. I don't even think you'll be able to see that because it's so fine. And I douse myself in this and then fan myself and then I try not to touch my face after that because I really want this product to sit on my skin and do its job. I guess in a sense then it's not really a toner because you'd, you typically use a toner straight after you wash your face but I like using this at the very end. It's for toner for oily problem skin, soothes razor burn, cleanses superficial skin irritation. Yeah and this is £8.50. You can get it in boots, however, I just got it at a pharmacy near my uni. Even though I just read out the instructions that it's for oily skin, I have dry skin and I still find it works really well for me when I have breakouts. It's not a drying product, it's just a treatment product. But yeah, again, it lasts you so long and I've really, really, really been enjoying this. The next product is a bit of a different one for me in the sense that I guess it's skincare and I guess it's body care as well. It is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Self Tanner and this is in dark. Now, some of you may be thinking, Alice, you're Asian, why do you need to tan? And this is my philosophy. In the summer, my skin goes darker, as does everybody else's, and I like that look. I like looking tanned. I think it looks healthy. I think I look glowy. However, exposing your skin to the sun is actually so damaging. I studied tissue pathology in my second year module and we had lectures on skin pathology and cancers and carcinomas. And I really learnt the importance of protecting your skin against the sun and how damaging sun exposure can be. So now, as much as I love getting a bit of a tan on, I'm a lot more conscious of how it's gonna affect me long term and anti-aging and all of that stuff. You need to protect your skin from a young age no matter where you live in the world. Britain, Hawaii, 
South Africa, anywhere. You need to protect your skin. And that's why I've been using this self tanner. And I'm wearing it now and it gives me such a nice, warm, healthy, natural colour. I haven't used fake tan since I was probably about in year 8, 9 maybe. And I always saw the big bloggers use it. And they actually have a store in London that I've known about for ages. But it's not quite close to where I live. And I've always been like, okay, I'm going to plan my trip to get to this shop. But the guys at Loving Tan contacted me and sent me over some of their products. And I've just fallen in love. I would repurchase them with my own money as soon as I run out of these. How I apply it is I moisturise my body and apply a Vino body moisturiser. And then what I do is I take the mitt, which is a thick velour nice mitt and I will squeeze a pump for my arm and then what I'll do is I'll switch my glove over to the cleaner side and just buff over my wrists my elbows and smooth it out to make sure it's not streaky and it's just so easy to use there is a slight fake tan smell however that's only if I'm like this it's not like something that lingers and Callum can't tell I've fake tanned or anything like that. When Loving Tan sent me these products to try, they also sent me a code, which is my Instagram handle. So it's AliceXT with an X instead of the I. <laughs> That's how I explain it to everyone. You get a free mitt. They're really, really high quality. I get no commission off this code. They just offered it to me. I, I don't get any money from it. I'm being 100% honest with you guys and I always will be in terms of that. I get no commission, nothing. You guys just get a free mitt if you want to. If not, no worries. That's cool. Now on to makeup. So I'm sure you guys are very, very, very familiar with this product here. It is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am in the shade medium. My friend Amrita did my makeup for me. She is a very talented prosthetics and hair makeup artist we decided to meet up and she accidentally took my medium home with her and she very very kindly bought me a new one which is so lovely of her it's honestly true when they say you don't know what you have until it's gone because when I got this back I was like what have I been doing it's so so amazing it's so high coverage creamy works on my dry skin works on my oilier areas i know it's a bit pricey but it's so worth it in the sense that a little bit goes such a long way i'll dot a bit on a spot and it'll end up spreading a lot <laughs> so i really really recommend it to you guys what i'd recommend to non-americans is to wait until they have free shipping and then at least you don't have to pay customs as well as shipping you'll only have to pay customs i definitely like it in a darker shade as well um, this one is good for highlighting my under eyes but i'd like one for blemishes as well and yeah definitely definitely worth the hype next is the ico brow gel this is called the tinted gel brow booster and it's such a nice brow gel i love the packaging i love the wand it's a tiny little wand, so it's so good for really getting each individual hair. It's tinted, but only comes in one shade. However, I've seen quite a um, wide range of hair colours use this. For example, Shan Exo, who is a blonde, uses this quite a lot, or used to use it quite a lot. I've seen medium, medium-haired gals, such as Emma's rectangle, I love her, <laughs> use this and I can use it as well of course. There aren't any fibres in this gel but it keeps your brows in place perfectly and it doesn't go crispy and I don't get any of those white bits throughout the day in where the glue sort of stuck together. None of that. I've wanted to try this for a very 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 long time and I'm really glad that I've got to because I highly recommend it to you guys i love the packaging as well like if i ever got to design a brow gel it would look something like this next is my beloved kiko highlighter and this is called the glow fusion powder highlighter and i've got the shade 02 
I've used this in a few videos but I'm pretty sure I accidentally said Zoeva throughout the whole video like oh I'm now going to use my Zoeva highlighter and it's actually Kiko. I have the eyeshadows in the shade 208 and 200 which everyone uses as highlighters but recently when I was in store I noticed they had actual highlighters. They have three shades, one which is lighter than this and one which is deeper and they're all very very beautiful. What I like about this one is that it's a lot smoother than the eyeshadows. This one is very buttery and oh. It's the highlight which I'm wearing now and it's not too light which I really appreciate especially in the summer when I've got a bit more colour on me. In the winter it might be a little bit too dark. It pulls very gold, but I really, really like that personally. So, love, love, love this. My next favourite is my Maybelline Nude Embrace Matte Lipstick. And I love this. You guys saw me, like, rediscover it. And it looks quite pink there. When I look at it, I think, is that not going to be too pale for me? But it just never is. And it always works. And I love it. I love to pair it with a darker lip liner, as I do with... 99% of my lipsticks and it's so comfortable. It is matte but it's not a drying flat matte. It's very creamy and very comfortable and sometimes it's like a godsend being able to wear something creamy yet matte throughout the day and not have it crumble up or crack like some liquid lipsticks can do. So I've definitely rediscovered this recently. I used to wear it all the time. I think I bought it about a year ago. But I'd line my lips, apply a nude matte liquid lipstick and then apply this on top. And not only would it make it more comfortable, but it would also pull it a bit more nude because I find a lot of liquid lipsticks can be quite pink on me. I love it. <laughs> and my last favourite is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea and I have gone through and finished the rose version however this time I decided to pick up the aloe green tea version and I much prefer this one actually not so much that I see a functional difference it's more the smell that I really like the rose one obviously smell of rose which was quite don't want to say floral because that's really obvious but it was quite floral and sweet however this one is a lot more refreshing i can't smell the cucumber in it really it's mostly the aloe and green tea but i use this at the end of my makeup to take away that powderiness and set all the powders and i have a feeling i'm gonna go through this super super quickly i get mine from urban outfitters i know you can get them on beauty bay i'm not sure if there's a price difference this was seven pounds but whenever i'm in them i always see it and i'm like oh, i should pick you up i've run out i know i should pick you up and i finally did and it's lush yeah in terms of fashion favourites, this necklace, which I always, always, always get asked about, is definitely my favourite of since I got it, to be honest. <laughs> I'll leave the name on the screen now because I don't want to butcher it. I'm pretty sure it's French, but oh, I hate doing that, but I just don't want to butcher it. Yeah, and it is a gold A, and I really, really love it. I never take them off, really. Maybe sometimes when I shower, but they don't tarnish. Nothing like that, super high quality. You can DM them to inquire about prices because it depends on the material that you got yours made in. Um, and then this necklace is from my mum, which is also an A. I think that is it in terms of my favorites at the moment. I would love to do some fashion videos for you guys at some point. I just have to get a bit more confident in the fashion side of things. I just throw on normally whatever's comfortable slash clean. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys would be interested in that, I'd definitely do them for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching again. Positive vibes your way.